Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial um, to help you get your game patched up if you have an Intel 12th gen or above uh, processor. That would either be Alder Lake or Raptor Lake. That would be 13th gen. Um, 14th gen hasn't come out yet, uh, I don't think. Um, but I guess we can assume that at this point, um, the newer Intel processors are going to have this problem. And it's becoming more and more common as more and more people start to get computers um, with these newer Intel processors. Um, if you have an AMD Ryzen processor, this isn't an issue for you. Um, if you have an older Intel, even if it's just from like a year or two ago, um, if it's 11th gen or below, this also doesn't affect you. Um, but if you do have intel 12th gen or above um, what you will see happen when you try to launch your game is you'll press play on the launcher and then nothing will happen um, the game will act like it's launching but maybe pop you back to steam maybe pop back to origin or the ea app um, it'll never launch when you click play um, and it's just instantly crashing um, when you're trying to play every single time that's what's happening it's just failing to launch it's just crashing um so basically why this happens isn't exactly known but what this um, patch does that was um done by a modder ea didn't do this for us <laughs> this was done by modder lazy duchess many of you might know who she is um she has uh made this patch just to it basically limits the cpu temporarily when you launch it and then once it's done once the game is launched it goes back to normal um and this is just a quick tutorial on how to set that up and check if you actually need it so one thing that you can do if you're completely unsure if you even need this at all and you have no idea what your computer is, what your processor is, you can always just go down here and type DXDIAG and then click on this where it says run command. Then when it opens up, you will see your system information and right next to processor, um, you can see I have AMD Ryzen 7, so I don't have an Intel processor um, at all. Um, so I'm not actually going to execute the patch, but I will show you how to um, generally get there. But if you do um, have an Intel processor, um, you can look on this list. You can look up this list, products formerly Alder Lake, um, products formerly Raptor Lake. And you can also just like Google, um, you know, take the name of your processor and look it up on Google and um, see online if it's a 12th gen or 13th gen um, and if it is then that would mean that you would need to do this um, so before you do anything you're going to need something like winrar because this file does come in a zip so you're going to need something to be able to unzip this um, so i would just you know google winrar and then uh, go to the download button over here and oops Download right here, 6.2164 bit. And then if it says, do you want to keep it anyway? Yep, of course. And then let that download and then install WinRAR if you don't already have it. Um, it's going to tell you oh, WinRAR is not free. You have to pay for it. Pretty much no one pays for WinRAR. It's pretty much... <laughs> joke at this point that nobody pays for it so you don't have to pay for that um once you have winrar installed then you're going to need to download the patch and basically the instructions on this are uh pretty straightforward whoops i did not mean to open that i'll move this to my desktop right here you just I'm actually going to create a folder and then drag it in there and then if you ex you right click on the um, 
zip file and then extract here where you want to put it so that's why i created a folder just because a bunch of files uh do come out of this and then when you're done with the one that looks like a stack of books the zip file you can just delete that um and then the steps as they say on the installation page you execute the alter lake patch xe file so you'll want to double click on this and run that executable um it's going to ask you for the executable that you want to patch so it's asking you um it wants to know where is the xe file for sims 3 um so that it can patch sims 3 so the location of this is going to depend on where your game is. Now this might be a little daunting if you have no idea where to look for these. Um, it really does depend on where you uh, installed your game to. So I can't say for sure that this file path is always going to be uh, what that looks like for you. Mine personally doesn't look like this because I don't have mine in program files um, or even on a C drive. A lot of times the default path is to go on C program files times 86 inside of that file path, but um, if you decided to put your game somewhere else when you install it, then it might be in a completely different folder um, as mine is. So here's a quick shortcut to find that. Um, just so that way when you execute the patch, you know where to look for it. So, here's my little trick. If you have um, the Sims 3 desktop icon, um, you a little shortcut. Um, you right click on that and then go down to properties. And then when this little window opens up, you open file location and it takes you right into that um, folder and then if you have the Steam version of the game you're going to want to um, have it patch this ts3w.xc file and if you have, I believe if you have it through Origin or e, uh, EA it's just ts3.xc yeah. if you have Origin EA this is the file you're going to want and if you are doing Sims Medieval then you would want to do that one. But um, this is the Sims 3 folder. I w do I have an, a shortcut for Sims Medieval while I'm here just in case? Yes, I do. Um, you can do the same thing. It takes you right in there, right to the executable that you can patch if you have um, the Sims Medieval. And that's pretty much it. Once you um, run that, um, the, it'll just pretty much take it from there, and then you should be able to uh, launch your game again. That's pretty much it.